cooking in the food processing industry. Consumers demand high-quality convenience food, but to respond to this trend, the processing industry must deal with the challenges of predictability in heat treatment. Let's look at how to calculate and deliver consistent and accurate heat treatment when foods contain particles. Well, it's getting there. I've always been curious to find out how does the food processing industry create that perfect goulash soup, preserving the texture, the nutrition, and make it safe to eat. Let's find out. Hi, I'm Helena, and I'm a food processing technologist specialized in the heat treatment of food in the food processing industry. My many years of experience have taught me how to help any customer find the right way to process a recipe. Basically, I make sure that their food ends up both safe and delicious. A customer comes to us with a great recipe. For instance, a goulash soup. It's our task to find the optimal way of cooking the ingredients and make the food safe. Mm. We do so by using our heat exchangers. One of the challenges of processing a product containing particles is calculating the right heat treatment. Too much heat will destroy the particle texture and the product's flavor, and too little heat would jeopardize food safety. Heating a particle is actually a dynamic three-step process, and all three steps need to be considered to find the right balance. In the first step, hot water heats the liquid food indirectly through the tube wall. Then the particle surfaces receive heat from the liquid surrounding them. Finally, heat is conducted from the particle surfaces to their centers. New research findings from Tetra Pak make it possible to predict how particles affect the heat transfer in a heat exchanger. This enables correct and optimal process design, ensuring food safety while keeping the product quality high. To get the particles through the heating process as unaffected as possible, it is important to know its unique character. But knowing, for example, the heat transfer coefficient for a potato, perfect for goulash soup, we know how to make it work. Knowing the particle size, particle concentration and the properties of the liquid are important when choosing the process solution and optimal process parameters. At our product development centers, we combine the results from our heat transfer calculations with practical trials until we find a process solution that delivers a product fulfilling the customer requirements. So for how long do you need to heat the food to make it safe? It depends on the ingredients, the size of the ingredients and their journey through the process line, but about one to four minutes. Wow, that's really fast. Well, my soup has for sure been heated for more than those four minutes. Here, have a taste. It's good. It's ready? It is, absolutely. Mmm, I'm hungry. Me too.